All right, everybody. I thought I'd give you a quick little rundown video of my silver stack collection. Um, obviously, this isn't all of my collection. You know, I do have a Benjamin Franklin book. I do have a Mercury dime book. Um, you know, I've got a Washington quarter book that has silver dimes in it, a Roosevelt dime book, Morgan, some things like that. So this isn't completely all of it, but just give you a quick little rundown of what I do have. Um, got a American Eagle collection, you know, first date is 86. Um, book goes all the way to 2018, obviously, because the 19 isn't out yet. So I've got a complete, complete set of those. Um, pretty cool. I like the albums. Um, really cool. Got a silver rounds. I like to put my rounds in the Dansko albums so I can look at them. It makes it easier for me to view them and things like that. Um, the rounds that I have doubles of, I put those in air tights like this. So pretty cool, but I'll show you what this album. Just got different different designs, things like that. Like I said, if I went through each one of these, this video would be super long. Nobody would probably watch it. Um, if you guys want to see a video of you know, a slowed version of this so I can, you know, show you each round. I'll gladly do that. Just let me know in the comment section. But, um, so that's that. Silver Rounds album. I need to get another one because I do have some rounds over here that I don't have in a dance go. Um, when I pick up the Silver Rounds and things like that, I'd like to order two of everything. Um, that way I can have an extra round like these, like some of these, um, and then one in the book. The book just makes it easier for me to view what I have and flip through them without having to go through each one of these and things like that. Um, silver bars. These are one ounce silver bars. So I like those two. Just kind of give you a quick little... American flag there, Ten Commandments, pretty cool. American flag. There's not a lot of different designs um, in the one ounce bars, so not a lot of not a lot of options in those. So I don't buy a lot of those. But anyway, I do get a tube of silver war nickels. I also do have some two by two flips, you know, that I've got war nickels in in these. Probably Oh, I don't know, probably 75 silver war nickels. I used to put them all in flips, and then it just got monotonous. I find them all the time, so I just start throwing them in tubes. So that um, tube of Roosevelt dimes. It's a tube of mercury dimes. It's 90% silver. The silver war nickels, um, dated 1942 to 45. Those are 35% silver, so but they're still silver. Um, Washington quarters tube of those. Another tube of Washington quarters. Um, about a half tube of Washington quarters here. So quite a bit of those and obviously um, 1964 and prior 90% silver. Um, this here is a tube of just random half dollars. Not all of them are like that or the older style. Some of them are some are Benjamins. Um, I don't have any 40% stuff um, other than in my album, Kennedy album. So there's actually a Walking Liberty. So just some random. That's nice. I'm dropping my stuff. So I got a little container for those. They're 90%. Another one, 90%. It's filled to the top. There's a Benjamin right there on top. Um, half tube of Mercury Dimes. So put that over there with Dimes. Another tube Mercury Dimes. I like the Mercury Dimes. I've been trying to fill up my albums or my album. I'm missing a few key dates. So this. I'd have to look it up. I think it's 90% silver. Um, I know it's silver, but it's a George Washington 
commemorative 250th anniversary. Um, pretty cool. I actually found that in a half dollar box. Um, I do search boxes of half dollars, but I don't get lucky like some of these guys. I know Rob Finds Treasures just found a massive amount of silver, so that's awesome. Um, so I need to go get me a box of half dollars and see if my luck has changed. But I did find this a while back. Pretty cool find. Um, this is a monster 5 ounce round I have. Actually, I had a video of it. I just got it not too long ago. So pretty cool. Um, pick this up. This American Silver Eagle. It says history in your hands. 45th President Donald Trump. Um, it's a first strike. So pretty cool. MS-69. So pretty high grade. Thought it was cool. So I got it. Um, one of these on Couch Collectibles. Um, one of his live streams. So these are 90% silver. Um, pretty cool. I got those in flips. Um, then this here is um, these are all American Silver Eagles. Pretty cool. It's a full tube. Um, same thing with this. American Silver Eagles. Hard to glare, huh? Yeah, so another tube of Silver Eagles. Um, these are, these here are all one ounce rounds. Just various different designs and stuff. These here are two ounce rounds. These big ones back here. So, two Troy ounces. Pretty cool. So this stack's two ounces, this stack is one ounce. And then all the ones in the albums, you know, those are all one ounce. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. One of the th cool things with silver, um, if you guys get, ever get into stacking silver, um, you know, my personal opinion is to stay, to stay with it and to not get bored. I like the um, constitutional silver, the 90% stuff. A lot of people refer to it as junk silver. Um, I refer to it as constitutional silver. It's 90%. It's always fun getting this stuff, purchasing this, putting it in albums. Um, also, I like to buy the uh, art rounds, things like that, different designs. If you're going to buy American Silver Eagles or Canadian Maple Leafs, um, you just get burnt out with those. They get really boring. There's really nothing to look at. The only thing on the coin that changes is the date. Um, so like I said, I like the rounds. It, it's just something different to look at. Something feels like you're actually adding something to your collection. So that's the route I'd prefer to go. Just giving you guys a heads up to each their own. 90% silver is the way to start off collecting. Um, but all right, guys. Well, please make sure to like, share, subscribe. And uh, in the comment section down below, I'll have some links to like air tights to put um, your silver rounds, things like that, some tube containers, um, just various things. So, if you got any suggestions, or like I said, if you guys want me to slow down and go through these books, or if you want to see one of my other um, coin collecting albums, just let me know. Alright guys, see you next time. Thanks for watching.